Okay, take two. This is Mike's other other half of the fun and games today. This is a Chrysler 714 head, which is similar to a, a 302. It's closed chamber. He's had it cut for a 188.16 valve package. It uh, He did some nice porting work on it. He did some really cool brazing work on it. It looks like a hole, but it's not. It's an inclusion because he had a little trouble getting it to fit. But he went to improve those uh, ports as far as holes. And he even weld up the uh, exhaust gas recirculation valve holes. Those fit uh, like a quarter inch. And then he welded them. Okay, I forgot to show you guys the bore last time. But I did put it in the beginning of the last video. This actually looks quite good with the liquid. This actually looks quite good between the shape of the roof and the way the liquid comes in. A little bit extra snot around the plug and nice kind of splatter across the chamber. Overall pretty damn good. Okay, this is uh, like a stock replacement style valve. Not bad coverage on it. It does have a bit of an evaporation ridge like most stockers do. And the exhaust also has an, an evaporation ridge or an anti-reversion ridge, you could call it, on an exhaust. I'm not really opposed to that. It is slightly neck down. And the 360 size. Okay, from this angle, that port looks quite good. It's got a really nice shape around the guide. And you can see where the liquid's going. It uh, That turned out pretty darn good. Now remember, these are just like the, uh, the 302 heads. They have a very tight pinch because they have a really big hole for the push rod because they're, they were designed for hydraulic roller lifters. And those lifters are taller, so the push rod's at an angle, so they had to make the hole bigger. Okay, now it does have a bigger than stock intake valve, but the short side is basically stock width, so it completely loses it after 400 lift. Uh, probably if he polished that, it'd take care of a lot of it and get, you could at least put a 500 lift cam in it, and it would work pretty well. Okay. Exhaust port looks quite good, and it works quite well. And he did some brazing on the center exhaust ports. In reality, they probably should be filled <laughs> up to about here. But we know that this shape exhaust port actually flows better than the rectangular. We float it on the rectangular. Okay, exhaust port looks quite good. Okay, in this one you can see the, the brass at the very back. It's worked out pretty well. Okay, we had a joke that uh, the little 2.5 liter head would uh, would beat this head, and I wasn't wrong. <laughs> uh, as you know, even though it's it's a small block architecture, it takes a little work to get some airflow through the this design head. Not bad on the very low lift. Not bad really at 300. It was doing about the same as the 2.5. And then you go to 209.7, which isn't bad. That's 400 horsepower right there. And it loses it hard on the short side. And you can tell because you get the same thing that happened on the 2.5 liter head, right? Almost no, no swirl, and then bam. It loses it on the short side and negative swirl numbers. Overall... Still a decent street head design. I don't care what anybody says. It'll it'll get it done. I don't know if I would put a huge cam on it. <clears throat> Probably stick to something around 500. Would make a nice truck motor. Okay, how'd we do here? Pretty good on the low. We do have some noise in the port. And then she cleans up and it goes, it sails pretty good. You know, the uh, Chrysler exhaust port's relatively straight. Even though it doesn't have a short side, it, it does flow pretty decently. We got 193 with the big pipe on it. Small pipe doesn't cover that exhaust port, so why waste our time? And uh, not bad overall. 
take a look at our air speeds. Hot on the floor, slow on the roof. Could probably work on that. Uh, from one side of the roof to the other side of the roof, 50 feet per second discrepancy. That could surely be improved. But our short side isn't bad. It's a little fast because it's almost stock width. Okay, and this is at 500. It's already lost it. So you're 205. But it's relatively even across it. Like I told my, just probably polish, polish the short sides and you'd be, you'd have a decent head. Take a look at our exhaust. Side to side, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And not even dead in the middle. Overall, nice little package for an amateur uh, porting job. Uh, what else do we got to talk about, guys? I showed you the bore. I think we're good. I showed you the valves. I showed you the Tycom. Sorry, guys. It's been a long day. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.